Hello and welcome to the video about basic text editing in WordPress and Beaver Builder. Uh, so we're going to start our tutorial here at our WordPress dashboard. I'll assume you've already logged into your website. Um, if we want to edit a page, uh, there are a couple of different ways that we can get to the page that we want to edit. The first one is to select pages, all pages, and then find our page that we want to edit from within the list and hit Beaver Builder. That will open us up directly into Beaver Builder. The other way we can do that is by simply clicking on our website name and navigating to the page that we want to edit and then clicking Beaver Builder up in this top bar, the WordPress bar. When you first log in, it will be very likely that the uh, text editor or all of your editors will be uh, sort of a drop down and floating, something like this. And if you want to dock that to one side or the other, you simply drag it over to the blue, blue bar on one side or the other. And if you don't like that, if you like having that floating around, you can just leave it out like this. I personally prefer to put it over here. So click on Beaver Builder and anything that pops up with a box around it is something that we can edit. And for this, we're going to have, concentrate on editing um, two different types of, uh, of text. We're gonna work, work on heading text and our primary area is going to be working on uh, just the, the general text content. So we'll start with the text editor. You can see the text editor looks something along these lines. It's the stripped down, stripped down version of something like Word. And it's really easy to edit. You simply start typing. You can copy and paste here just like you would in any other text editing program. Uh, we also have some other features like making our text bold, making our text, oops, making our text italic. Um, we can create a bullet list three items into a list by highlighting them and then clicking bulleted list here or if we want a, an ordered list or numbered list we can click like such if we want to add a sub uh, level here we simply tab return and tab and it will start back over do is we can change the dust justification of our uh, text areas center left and right justification I just wanted to ex suggest that you keep everything uh, paragraph text wise keep it left aligned it is a lot easier for your user to read left aligned text paragraph text um, than it is to read uh, centered text. The eye appreciates going back to the same place on each line. Um, so it is generally a best practice to leave everything left justified. So 
So that is the real quick and easy uh, text editor. Um, when you've made any changes, always hit save, just like on your computer programs. Now let's let's change the uh, the name of one of our headings. This is really easy. You can see there's a pretty vast difference between the the text editor and the heading editor. Um, the heading editor is real stripped down. Here's our heading. I want to mention these HTML tags. You'll see that this one's an H2. This one up here is an H1. This one here is an H3. The internet or, or Google likes to see the, it reads your, your website sort of like an outline. So it's really important once we've developed the initial build out of your website uh, that you leave the HTML tags as they are because this is, this is the structure that Google is going to be searching through. Um, so we don't want to mess with that structure. Uh, it makes it uh, less searchable uh, via Google. So go ahead and leave these things be. Um, in most cases, we will set, set up your page title, uh, like this H1, with what's called the post title. And what this does is that it automatically draws the name of the page as the title here. Um, so again, leave, leave the H1 alone because that's going to be part of our initial build out. So we went through editing our text in our text editor. We can bold, italic. We can create two different types of numbered lists. We can adjust our um, justification. It's really easy to type, type in. Um, and we also talked about editing our headings. And it's super easy. One little bar. And we'll make sure that we leave our HTML tags alone. Lastly, after again, after we've made all of our changes, we hit save. And in order to make sure that these changes actually take place on our website, we'll go ahead and hit done and publish. That's all I have for this video. I mean, there will be more. And feel free to reach out to me whenever you need to about uh, website editing assistance. Thanks. Bye.